This is a coral reef. How biologists and scuba divers know and love it. The animals which built these amazing towers and domes and finger-like structures underwater are corals, relatives of anemones. But they're colonial and they build sturdy calcium carbonate skeletons. In addition, they harbor tiny algae in their tissues, which generate energy from sunlight. Hence, corals combine the best of the plant and of the animal world. But will we still see coral reefs like this in a future Anthropocene, in an age in the history of a planet determined by humanity's impact? Corals are not the only animals in the ocean which use tiny algae in their tissues to generate energy. Giant clams as we see them here, in a breeding facility of the University of the Philippines, do the same. When the water temperature gets too hot, the hosts repulse these algae and bleaching ensues. This leads to a significant deficit of energy of the host animal. A further animal which uses individual photosynthetic organelle, which it takes from the algae it feeds on, is this tiny sea slug, a sarcoglossum, which hence becomes a solar-powered sea slug. A loss of symbiotic algae will be one problem, which corals will face in a future of warm sea surface temperatures. Another problem are increasingly acidic oceans due to an increasingly high concentration of CO2 in the atmosphere, which dissolves in the ocean. In the footage here, you see the seafloor near a fish farm in the north of the Philippines, where the seawater is much more acidic than usual. A preview of the oceans of the future. No hard corals with their calcium carbonate skeletons have survived. We see a single sea pan. A soft coral without a calcium carbonate skeleton and without symbiotic algae. These sea pans have survived and have thrived in soft bottoms and are ideally suited for what we predict to be the oceans of the future. Here we see a tiny shrimp dancing on one of these soft corals. Anemones and tuvalemones are other groups which are related to hard corals but which don't have the calcium carbonate skeletons and which will be at an advantage in increasingly acidic and in warmer oceans of the future. Corals and their relatives will not go away but we will see a different assembly of species in the corals of the future and we will see different ecosystems. Here we see a sea slug aiming to feed on a soft coral on a sea pan on its left. If you watch carefully you will see how the sea pan retracts into the sea floor to get away from this thread. Corals as a group will find ways to deal with the threats caused by humans. Even though we will probably not see too many of these beautiful coral reefs of today anymore, there will still be coral surviving, as they did during previous geological episodes of reef crises. There will be corals in the future, but they will be very changed and they will not be as lush and as beautiful as the corals of today.